Hey Pixies! Today we're doing a fall manicure and yes, it does hurt my heart just a little bit to say that, but that's what we're doing. It is September. I am one of those people that could go from summer to Halloween and back to summer and be perfectly content with that. We are using all Barbie secret dips today. I have cranberry spritzer first. It is the chunky glitters part of the fall line and it is absolutely gorgeous. So we are using that today and I am going to be using my Model 1's gel base and gel top coat. So I am applying my gel base and for this first layer, I poured the powder over and I am cleaning up my cuticle wire and making sure all of those glitter pieces are laying nice and flat. I am not expecting full coverage with the first layer and then I will cure it for 30 seconds. After I cure for 30 seconds, I dust off with a stiff nail brush and for the second layer, I will apply the gel base and I will lay my finger into the glitter and try to make that glitter lay as flat as humanly possible so that we have so much less buffing and filing to do. So I will move those pieces around to fill in any little gaps and clean up the cuticle area. You want to make sure it's not overlapping onto your skin or your cuticle. That goes for any enhancement that you're putting on because what will happen is as your nail grows out, the product will lift because it's not attached to your nail, it's attached to your skin. Once I'm happy with that, I will cure 30 seconds. Then I have a few places that need a little bit more glitter. So I'm going to take the gel base and just dab that on those spots and pick up the glitter pieces with my water marble tool and place them where I want them to be. And once I'm happy with that, I'll cure 30 seconds.
This is Harvest Wishes. It is a gorgeous foresty green with shimmer and it is absolutely beautiful. I am so obsessed with the Barbie's Secret Dips shimmers. They're just so shimmery. I They have more shimmer packed into them than any other shimmer dip that I've ever used. And this one is no exception. For this one, I'm going to be applying the gel base and I'm going to just lay my finger into it for both of the dips because I know that her dips go on so smooth and fine and thin. So I am not worried about bulkiness. That's why I usually pour over for the first layer. So with this one, I'm just going to lay into it. Every time I lay into it, I clean up the cuticle area and then cure it for 30 seconds. Dust off before doing the next layer. look at that shimmer it's just so beautiful now we're gonna do one of my favorite dips from barbie's called bear hug it is a gorgeous nude with these kind of like iridescent pink and gold flakies in them that are super fine and it is just so beautiful i'm going to be applying that the same way that i did harvest wishes Now I'm going to do my decal. Typically, I do them after my buffing and filing, but I just wanted to show you another way that you can do it. So I dust it off really well, and then I choose my decal and put that on. I actually did a gel base first, but I just did a flash cure of like 10 seconds, just so it's still kind of tacky, but not completely still wet. And I go ahead and apply that decal and then finish curing it for the 30 seconds. And then I am going to encapsulate with gel. And to do that, I am going to apply gel base and cure that. And then a gel top coat and cure that. With my lamp, which is 48 watts, I do bases for 30 seconds and top coats for 60. And then I will do my buffing, filing, and reshaping. The decals will be linked down below as well. I got them from Etsy. And I actually do two layers of top coat before I buff and file on just the glitter nails. So Cranberry Spritzer got, after that first layer of top coat is cured, I apply a second one directly on top and cure that. And that is just to provide me some extra protection when buffing and filing because if you break through that, you're going to file the glitter off or the color from the glitter.
And here is our finished manicure. I absolutely love this one. It was such a good way to dip my toes into fall. And to finish up, I'm going to do it the same way I encapsulated, except only one layer of top coat. So I'm going to apply the base coat, cure that for 30 seconds. The reason we apply base coat first is so that our top coat has something tacky to hold on to. We just filed our dip powder super smooth. And if you apply your top coat right on top of that dip powder, it is going to chip and peel. So I apply the base coat and cure that. And then I go in and apply my gel top coat, cap the ends and cure that for 60 seconds. Let me know what you think down below. I absolutely love the way this one turned out and the whole combo was just gorgeous. And I'm going to apply my cutic oil. I'm using my indigo rue and sugar plum. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. YouTube then sees people like it and they share it more, which helps me out. If you have any questions, leave a comment or you can find me on Instagram at Zipping Pixie. That will be linked down below as well. And make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on. I have new videos every Monday and Thursday. That's it for this one, guys. And I will see you in the next one.